Hello there, everybody. What culture wrestling's Adam Cleary here, joined as ever by Adam Nicholas. We're on the wrong side to we normal, are on the wrong we'll side. Press on anyway for your yeah. hashtag good afternoon. <laughs> Although, if I'm honest, there's not really too much good about it. Now, last night, wrestling Twitter, wrestling internet was set ablaze. Jordan Miles, the NXT star, made some accusations towards WWE over the nature or the intent behind a t-shirt that they were planning on producing yep. for him. Now, this rumbled over. This was in the morning news, but it has since developed considerably, I would say. And Miles has taken to Twitter this afternoon to follow up on some of this. He basically posted a video on his personal account offering his thoughts on the subject that consisted of him doing a video just saying WWE does not care about black people and then giving the finger. He's since published loads of other tweets around the issue talking about the origin of the shirt and uh, other things in the company. He's even thrown Ring of Honor under the bus as well. And it is... It is a fast-moving story that will no doubt have shifted significantly by the time most people wake up and read about it tomorrow, but it's... Oh, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just, it's just. I would imagine, even probably by the time we finish this video, mm. there's going to be more developments given the sort of serious nature of it. He's been extremely vocal. Uh, this is obviously something he's very, very obviously very passionate yeah. about, and it's not often that we see this coming from... WWE stars. Somebody within the company. Somebody yeah. within the company. Certainly, if you know, you'd assume if someone has an issue like this, they tend to take it backstage, and it's all dealt with very under wraps. I'm sure this is not what WWE want from the Actually situation. Not, no. uh, but Miles obviously feels strong enough about this. Uh, there's, it's it's one of those. The, the best way to probably deal with it is to go through. Well, yeah. What, what's since been said. Um, the main tweet that's going to grab all the headlines, certainly one that's going to do the rounds for a long, long time on this, is he tweeted the whole WWE system is fraud. They created this system where you can't trust anyone, you grow cold and you grow apart from what you love the most. Now that's fairly cryptic, not too much in there, not too much direct about it, but then he followed that up with the fact that at Hulk Hogan, literally tagging him in it, is still employed after giving the locker room an apology for being caught says enough. Hashtag for the culture. So clearly these these gripes which have emerged from the back of the t-shirt yep. clearly extend far further into his time in the company. Well it looks like it's hard, it's hard to talk about this. We are literally just getting this news, so mm. we're trying to go with the flow as we come. It's difficult because, I guess, this is obviously something he feels very strongly about, as he definitely should. This is obviously his way of dealing with it. They would probably want to dealt with in a very, mm. very different way. Obviously, tagging people like Hulk Hogan in this is going to make this even... It's going to get more attention, which is, I guess, what he wants from this scenario. Uh, Twitter, in general, has been extremely vocal in its support and support, yeah, and I guess the other side of it, of this entire nature, uh, this entire scenario, sorry. Um, it was interesting because he's been, obviously, we reported this this morning, and there was sort of talk that perhaps this had already been approved, the Jordan Miles t-shirt had been approved yeah. via conversations they had, the WWE had had with Jordan. He's since obviously offered a rebuttal against that. Someone had tweeted basically saying, so is it true that Google Miles approved the t-shirt and he objects to it? Any response from Miles on this info? Mm. Miles himself responded to that tweet said, when I originally saw the design, I was uncomfortable. Rather than addressing the issue, I decided to counter offer with another. Baker Landon lied to my face. He said, Triple H wanted this design, so my hands were tied. I spoke with Triple H in person and his impression was that I had approved. And then he has, Obviously added to that by saying, if you don't believe me, email him and ask him yourself. Which and he posts a screen grab, posts the screen email, grab as we probably got here. Uh, that just says, hey Albert, Triple H attended a meeting and had a revision for your logo, but loved it for your character. He wanted the letter to be more teethy and what I have attached is what he liked. Also have, have basic t-shirts on there. He goes on to talk about colours and designs from Road Dog saying that Road, Road Dog preferred the grey. Now, this is an interesting development in terms of the, like, well, for starters, posting that because I'm mm. sure that's kind of, again, stuff that we're not used to seeing. This is all usually kept very in-house. But interesting there is we don't, we can't obviously say, but there's either the suggestion that this person has lied to both Jordan Miles and Triple H and there's been some sort of mm. misdoing there or they're saying that Miles has approved. But it seems odd given how strongly he is yeah, if you've, being against this. If you've not quite seen the t-shirt design yet, this is the one that was posted yesterday, it <laughs> is effectively, to go along with this character of being somebody who smiles, they've done it's a black t-shirt mm. with a very red set of lips and then the name Jordan Miles obviously meant to be recreating the teeth. Now, yeah. I imagine you could quite innocently come up with that concept without realizing the implications of it or mm. the incredible similarities it bears to blackface, to the, the, go the, the, the golly image and whatnot. Yeah. And if you don't get why that is not okay in the slightest, then oh, that's either very innocent on your part or willfully ignorant, mm. uh, depending on which way you want to take it. Now, if Jordan Miles sees that and he's uncomfortable with it, 
absolutely fair enough. I don't think there's a single person of colour in the world who would look at that and no. think it's okay. Now, you might be sitting at home and think, oh, I don't really get what's wrong with it. And then, well, fair, good for you. It hasn't. It's obviously not something that's ever going to affect your life, but yeah. everybody who's got a voice on this says, yes, that is horrendous. Let's not do it. I can understand why he would see that. And he said uncomfortable. Mm. I think that would be something of an understatement. By the looks of it, though, him saying that rather than expressing these concerns, he decided to put his own idea forward. You can see this clearly being something where nobody's seen a problem with it because they just haven't thought. This is the thing, and mm. I think if it was a case of it's a T-shirt that it... I'm sure you get it all the time. Wrestlers must see a T-shirt design that they don't like. Yep. Not one that they don't like because of its racial undertones. Mm. And I think this is obviously... so. It, he's in a difficult position here because where's the line for speaking up? I imagine there's many wrestlers who have just said, yes sir, no sir, when yep. things like this have happened and haven't made any fuss, but have actually probably felt really uncomfortable and really unhappy mm. about a lot of the stuff that's gone on. So in terms of having the confidence and the sort of the character, I guess, to speak up about this, I feel like this is going to be important. We could be looking back on this in a few months and seeing this as a major moment. Obviously, Miles himself is trying to essentially start a movement with this yeah. for hashtag for the culture as he's promoted relentlessly on Twitter since. Uh, it's 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 really this is really messy. Obviously, yeah. And there's it's interesting to see though because Miles has had such a things have been going pretty well in terms of in ring. If you want to talk about that for yeah, a second, yeah, like Miles great. has been doing brilliantly well since he arrived. He was part of the breakthrough tournament in NXT, which he, of course, won, won in the final against Cameron Grimes. It's not until this, now we're not, I would like to point out before we go any further, we're not trying to tie these two together, but I'm just trying to give you some context yeah, yeah. into what's going on here. Not suggesting this is a disgruntled Miles because of these things, but we haven't seen him since he had the match with Adam Cole for the NXT Championship. That was back on the 15th of August. Since then, Cameron Grimes, we have seen. We've seen him, who was his obviously opponent in the final. He has since been on XTV quite a lot, whereas, uh, I was going to call him ACH there, but Jordan Miles has actually only really been featured on house shows for NXT, mm. where he's teamed with Kushida and other people. So it's odd that someone who they obviously saw as being a good person to push mm. and having them against Adam Cole in that match isn't part of this. And now, obviously, that is whether this has happened earlier on and he's only now deciding to speak about it or whether it's this is all a culmination of, of everything that's happened, we don't exactly know. And we can only, of course, speculate at this time. It's a really horrible position for somebody in that stage of their career to be in, obviously, because he's probably gone into that meeting, seen the T-shirt, and known deep down that it, there's nothing malicious in it. It's not no. designed to look like what it obviously does look like. But you still, you're new in the company. You don't want to be seen as a troublemaker. You've probably got a lot of pressure on you for these yeah. kind of things. So we thought, well, you know what? Rather than making a fuss about this, <clears throat> like, I, I know that the, I don't have to call anything out because I know the intent is not there. Yeah to cause this kind of thing. He's probably thought, well, okay, right, I'll put my own idea forward. He's probably been given assurances that he'll get a sign off over the finish thing. And then probably by the other, on the other hand of it, they've said, oh yeah, he seemed all right with yeah, it. He yeah. had a few ideas of his own. You can see this has been something that's gently been pushed forward, but it's obviously got to a stage where he feels like he's been lied to about it. And given the, you know, the incendiary nature of the subject matter of it, it's clearly pushed him to a point where he thought, well, do you know what, right? I've tried, I've tried doing this the easy way. Yes. I've tried not yeah. giving people a headache over this. I've tried just dealing with this calmly. Clearly that's not being listened to. It's not appreciated how bad this actually is. So he feels that now he's, now he's the need to step up. I think, speak up, Ron. The, the additional part here is that like, obviously his entire gimmick is obviously smiles for males. That yep. is his sort of catchphrase. It's so on the Indies do, it's obviously completely attached to him as a person. Mm -hmm. Whether someone has used that as a not used that, that maybe this wasn't malicious. Maybe like maybe it was just a complete. You know, someone's been so wrapped up in just trying to get. I mean, look at how many T-shirts they put out in that stint of NXT performance. Really good T-shirts they, they put out. They, you know. they, to be fair, they were all terrible, I think. Yeah. But they were just they were obviously quickly put together before they went on WWE TV. Now someone may have just went smiles, smiles for miles, yeah. and, and made that leap. But if he's uncomfortable, maybe he, you might have got somebody in the past who didn't want to be the person who was mm. the poster boy for this. He's spoken up about it, and whether people agree or disagree with it, it's refreshing to see, yeah. and hopefully we get the correct result in the end, oh which God, is, I want, like, hopefully what he's looking mm -hmm. for from all of this, Jordan Miles gets. It's absolutely not for us or anybody else to say how we should feel about that. Mm. that you know, there's, there is history for years and years and years, hundreds of years, in fact, that show you why this is, this is not okay. But there's no way a company the size of WWE being as you know public or uh, or it is would have done that if they'd thought for a second that's how it was going to be really, perceived. Yeah. But that doesn't make it okay by no. the same token. You sometimes you know you have just got to hold your hands up and go, wow, actually, do you know what? Now that you point that out, that is that's our bad man. And if if they fight back against this, if they push back against them on this, it's it's lose lose for them because 
the way he's now gone on probably violates so many parts of his contract yep. in terms of speaking out against the company. So by rights, they probably think they have to let him go. But given that it is their fault the and it's an issue yep. entirely of their own creating, what does that what does that say to everybody else of colour in the locker room? It sets a terrible precedent, doesn't it? That's the problem. And already looking like he's feeling like a bad precedent has been set by the likes of Hulk Hogan returning yep. to little little resistance. <sighs> yes, yeah, so that is the that's the story. It'll no doubt rumble on and on, probably while it's mm. getting edited, certainly by the time the news comes around tomorrow. The lads will have more on it as it breaks overnight, okay. no doubt. But in the meantime, let us know what you make of it all in the comments below. And please do yourself a favour, read it back to yourself mm. and think how it sounds before you say anything because just just do that, just, please, as a favour to me. Yeah, and the smallest, honestly, the smallest bit of research, if you yeah. if you are genuinely not sure why this is a problem, just do a bit of research. Just take some time before yeah. you go spouting off on this on the internet because it's not going to add. We don't need any more noise added to something that's right. already been noisy and messy in many departments. But in the meantime, yes, as ever, where can they get you on Twitter? You can get me on Twitter at it's Adam Nicholas. I'm Adam Cleary, C L E R Y. The entire What Culture Wrestling family available to you at What Culture WWE. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you for more on this tomorrow, no doubt. Be good.